earth signs virgo taurus and capricorn welcome to my channel this is chelsea thank you so much for liking and subscribing i really appreciate your love and support in this reading we're gonna get you some important love messages please bear in mind that this is a general reading and may not resonate with each and every one of you spirits and angels please show me important love messages for virgo taurus and capricorn today oh show me more Um, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. You may have put an end to a connection because we've got the death card here. So somebody may be seeing you as a missed opportunity. Could be waiting for you, observing you. And this person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Can be any sign, okay? And I feel like with Ace of Cups, a lot of you could be practicing self-love, self-care. Because there's only one cup here. So you're taking good care of yourself or that four swords you could be meditating you could be taking a rest and you're just like being super calm right now for some of you okay and i feel like this person is possibly recognizing that that you are so calm and that you actually have uh, integrity or that you have a lot of self-respect that they may be seeing you as a missed opportunity right now with the four of cups and they could also be wondering what is going to, how things are going to pan out between the two of you. The death card could also indicate some sort of a transformation. For some of you, you may have to transform yourself um, from, you know, just waiting for the right one to just, you know what, <laughs> four swords. I'm just going to go with the flow, ace of cups. I'm just going to do whatever that I love doing, whatever that's going to make me feel fulfilled or happy. So we've got the four wands here right in the middle of the spread. So for some of you, you may have somebody whom is thinking about marrying you, proposing to you, or taking the relationship to the next level, or just making things official. It really depends where you're at with your person right now. Um, but we've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Emperor in first. Somebody is going to bend. That's what I'm seeing here. Somebody is going to bend. Um, they may have been the Emperor in an upright position before. As in maybe they were very controlling or stubborn, egoistic, um, set in their own ways. I feel like this person is thinking about changing because we've got the uh, Wheel of Fortune here. So some things are going to change. Huge transformation. And with this King of Wands here, Fire Sign, again, it can be any sign, right? This person is actually thinking about taking actions towards you, but right now, they're still observing. They may do it in the future because of the will of fortune when the time is right, okay? I'm sensing this person is going to offer you love, ace of cups, or realizing that they do love you or falling deeper in love with you. But overall, earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, for those of you who are single, if you've been really taking good care of yourself, you know, and that you're just giving it, and especially if you have been giving yourself a break, right, from relationships rather than moving from one after another, I definitely sense a new love coming in for you guys. Uh, Will of Fortune, you'll meet this person at the right time on a uh, on the right day at the right location or could be while you are traveling it feels like this person could also be somebody whom could be uh could have been divorced or um, i feel like they're definitely somebody whom is not controlling okay if they used to be controlling they're not anymore but i definitely see a few different groups of you one group is you may have ended with somebody and this person sees you as a missed opportunity they may be reflecting observing and trying to see how things are going to pan out between two of you and both of you may have been taking a break here four swords and this person may be realizing that you are the four ones that means they're the one that you're the one that they want to live with you're the one that they want to marry or build a relationship with and they desire you a lot king of wands here they love love you of course with the ace of cups here that's a sense of respect that they have for you because you respect yourself okay the wheel of fortune here indicates a change finally the wheel is moving to the right direction that it's in your favor and this person is going to swallow their pride and then offer you this new love beginning. Um, now I would say it's true and it's genuine. All right, but let's see more. 
Wow, look at this. Four of Pentacles here is in reverse, Page of Swords in reverse, and also we got the Two of Cups here. So somebody may be thinking, they may be, it may not always mean spying, but it does, it could mean that Page of Swords in reverse, spying, stalking, but I feel like this person is just collecting information emotionally and uh, also mentally in regards to you, right? And I feel like they are going to realize if they haven't yet, that you are their soulmate, you're the best friend, and both of you um, are meant for each other. But the four pentacles here is in reverse. It takes one person here. Again, roles can be reversed between you and your person, right? It takes one person to actually let go of this connection or drop the ball for this to happen, for this realization after a break here as well with the four swords or after... Um, a lot of thinking. We've got the Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles here. I definitely see somebody offering it to you. Commitment and a new beginning here. Ace of Wands would like to grow this relationship with you. For some of you, this may be someone you are already currently connected with, or it could be somebody you could be going through some issues with, or it could be somebody completely new. Because the Aces here indicates a new beginning, but you know, for some of you, it may be a new beginning, a restart from someone from the past. For some of you, it could be someone completely new, right? And the Ten of Cups here for me indicates you, just um, <laughs> you and this person. Both of you are going to be really, really happy. Feel like a, it feels like a long-lasting relationship, very emotionally um, fulfilling connection. And page of pentacles here that could also be an offer for some of you um an offer to start a new life together to build something together talking about the future here definitely not something that i see as temporary okay and if you're separated from some from someone right now he still wants this person may want to reignite passion we'll be speaking with you and what got of this future being together reconciling starting a family together but let's see more so we've got the moon here page of cups and also we've got the magician some of you may be uncertain about your future you know it feels like the moon and this is actually a sun and a moon half the moon and half sun you may be kind of indecisive in regards of should i just stay single or should i just should I look for somebody, right? For those of you in that predicament, I feel like um, eventually you're going to see, you're going to be quite sure in regards of what you want. There may be a period of uncertainty here, but Page of Cups, I feel like as soon as one person here, whom is charming enough, whom is possibly um, genuine enough or that the magician also can be an indication that Maybe this person just knows you so well and knows how to pull your heartstrings. This person, you might give them a chance or it could be a second chance, okay? Could be someone from your past too. Six of Pentacles is right here and also we've got the Temperance and the Five of Cups and my first. I'm also sen sensing in the future, you're going to try and see the glass half full then it is half empty making the best out of your situation, out of your love life here. And the temperance for me indicates celibacy sometimes, but also it could be an indication of you being really patient. And Six of Pentacles could be focusing on your work right now and giving to people, helping people, giving people advice. For some of you, it's like good karma too, because you've been helping people and you're you know, getting back really good karma. Um, because the temperance here, I feel like you may have you know, the universe may have your back. The angels, they are on your side. It's really funny, actually. Last night, I actually dreamt of little fairies. They were so cute, right? There were like a few of them. I can't remember how many. It was like a small group of them. They were just like flying around this this tree, right? And I was with my mom in that dream. I was telling my mom, I was like, look at those fairies. And I was like educating her about the fairies. It was such a bizarre, um, such a bizarre dream. I've never dreamt of fairies before. Obviously, I was googling it, right? So uh, it's a good omen for sure, especially when you dream of fairies that are 
happy and they're like moving around and doing their own thing so it's definitely a good omen it could indicate you know good news coming in for some of you if you're listening to this video you're watching this video some of you are just listening because i know sometimes i just listen and then don't watch but um you may be receiving some good news good news coming in for you guys okay six of pentacles maybe somebody and i'm also in our sign i virgo so but six of pentacles here it can be an indication of somebody also it could be in your future or it could be currently somebody currently may be wanting to treat you equally treat you fairly or it could be somebody in your future whom you haven't met yet will be treating you equally and this person will be somebody very kind and this person may change your view or your perspectives on love in general all right our signs virgo taurus and capricorn this is your reading i hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm gonna leave you with my latest video that i just posted a few days ago on the screen right now this video i just took it um yeah, I took it here in London. I'm in London right now and I went on a cruise. It's called the um, City Cruise on River Thames. It was so beautiful. I had so much fun with my friend, my childhood friend. She lives in Birmingham. We had, It's a, a really fun <laughs> video for us to make. But anyway, check it out if you want to. And I'm going to also leave you with a playlist on the screen. This playlist has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. But these are still, are still valid readings because I post your videos almost every single day. So I'm um, still new and fresh. Don't let it go to waste. Click on that um, playlist. Scroll the way down. Look for your sign. There could be some other important messages that you may have missed. And I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. All right, take care. Bye.